since the early 70s, WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca has drawn in racers from all over the world. And in 2019, it plays a special race because it also hosts international competition with Moto America. The World Superbike Championship takes on American soil this very weekend, adding the additional pressure of international eyes on the American field. Very few riders in the Moto America paddock have experienced the competition in Europe and abroad. Riders like Cameron Bobier and Tony Elias are some of the most experienced in the paddock, both of which have competed in the World Championships for several years. The future of the sport thrives on the potential for American presence in the international field. One lucky rider to experience racing in Europe was youngster Sean Dylan Kelly. Winning the inaugural KTM RC Cup World Finals in Holland and spending three years in the Red Bull Rookies Cup, Kelly got his taste in international waters. Well, I've been racing overseas for three years, so now to make this comeback over here to America, racing in Moto America in the Super Sport class has been a pretty big jump for me. Obviously, you know, a new introduction to the 600 for me, so it's been a big learning curve, but a weekend like this where we can get the World Superbike on stage uh, and just same weekend, you know, mixing everything is, is a great opportunity for us to, to be here and really uh, not only learn from those guys, but also uh, compare ourselves, of course. You know, we can see that we do have the Superbike and we can see that uh, they're really competitive, you know, the lap times are almost the same with, uh, with the World Championship. So it's really nice uh, to see that, that, you know, Motor America has a competitive field and it just goes to show that, you know, coming from overseas and being over here now has been uh, an important step for me and hopefully I can keep on going in this direction and, and make a, a good step up for the rest of the season. Sorry, not sorry. Pardon this army. Young seeds, the new Marcus Garvey. Uh, black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Uh, dark of the skin, the tight of the noose. Truth prevails. Once they made hate and the crime go to jail. I might say your life post your bail. Church full of evil guys, holy hell. I'm a young voodoo child, no despair. Kelly is one of many riders aiming to impress the international teams. With a new track to learn, he aims to score a good result for the team this weekend. BJ Jacobson looks good, Escalante, Vong. We've really got a, a, a group of eight riders all capable of winning here. Nathan Gillum, and still in pursuit, half Bobby Fox.
the next writer eager to make impressions is super bag writer Garrett Gerloff. No contract secured for 2020, a good result for the Texan would do wonders for his 2020 campaign. Step it up, now step it up. I had to go out and step it up. Back in the day, I was breaking it. No one was helping us. I had to stick to a schedule. I had to put in the work. I had to show them just what I was worth. Show them the hate didn't work. The snakes they was lurking and plotting, they thought I would fail. But I stayed focused and stayed on my mission. And look, I prevailed. The ship on the sail. It was a blessing. No losses, but lessons. Now I'm sending the message that if you want it, go and get it. Give your haters an honorable mention. Qualifying on pole position, Gerloff looked in prime position for his next win. WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, spectacular road course, 2.2 miles. British set, we're ready to go up. Again, runs into the 24, 24, 8, 7, 4, so almost an identical lap from his first flying lap. Garrett Gerlach would love nothing more than to come around and see plus one on his board. From pole position to his very first EBC Brakes Superbike victory wheel in the air. Garrett Gerloff will take the win at WeatherTech Raceway, Laguna Seca. Victory did just what Gerloff had hoped for. With the call coming through later in the season, Gerloff signed the deal to race for the GRT Yamaha team in World Superbike. This will be a prime opportunity to see the current level of American racing against the European forces. Next time on American Racing.